Now we are going to observe certain applications of uh, principle of flotation. We have seen that a nade, nail made up of iron sinks down in water uh, body but the ship made up of iron can float. You know that uh, the density of the nail of the iron is quite high as compared to the water so it sinks down. But uh, the ship actually is made up of the same material but as you, can, as you know that the ship actually has a hollow space at the bottom. So that hollow space just decreases its density and uh, its density becomes equal to the density of the fluid that is why it can just float in water. So that means a body to float we have already discussed that the condition behind body to float is that that the density of fluid should be equal to the density of the uh, water displaced by it. So this is what happened in case of ship because ship has is hollow from the bottom. So its average density somehow decrease and on decreasing, decreasing it becomes equal to the density of the water and uh, it can actually float. Second thing we see that icebergs float in water. You know that the ice actually has low density than water. Ice has approximately 0 0.912 gram per centimeter cube density and density of water is 1.02 gram per centimeter cube. So obviously density of ice is less than water so that is the reason that it can float on the uh, surface of water. Third. Human body with little effort can float. We all uh, do swimming, we know that and we can do uh, uh, like we can swim in this way that our body is floating on the surface. We can do that actually because the average density of the human body is equal to the average density of the water. So that is why with just making a little by making a little effort we can actually float on the surface of water. Moreover, you know that fishes have a special organ that is the swim bladder which is uh, which makes it light. You know that how fishes use this swim bladder when they want to rise up when they when the fishes want to rise up to the surface of the water they fill their swim bladder with gases due to which uh, you can say the density decrease and they become somehow light and uh, that is why they, they can rise up but whenever they just want to go down they just empty their bladder from the gases and uh, they become their density become more and that is why they can go down in the sea. We know that hydrogen balloons can rise up because hydrogen actually has density which is approximately one fourth or less than the uh, means it is one fourth of the air. That means air has four times more uh, density than the hydrogen. So because the hydrogen density is less therefore the upward force which acts from the below air is uh, somehow more which pushes the hydrogen balloon up. So that is the reason that hydrogen balloons can rise up. So this is all based on the principle of flotation. You have seen that a condition which is, uh, which is uh, actually which is prevailing behind the uh, floating is that that the density of fluid should be equal to the density of the uh, this thing the density of the substance or the weight of the body should be equal to the weight of the fluid displaced by it. So this is what you can see and the, these are only I have summed up only five. So if you will just uh, try uh, to locate few other phenomena uh, that where the body is sinking or uh, where the body is floating you can make out that the principle of flotation is correct and it is being obeyed at all at all places. Right.